a few weeks ago, I uploaded a video about the state of this channel in 2024 and moving forward. And I was going to share my experiences as a man over 50 in the health, fitness, nutrition, wellness, and longevity categories. And yes, we're in our bedroom today and we're going to talk about quality sleep because I uploaded a blog post about the top five things you need to get quality sleep as a man over 50. Hey everyone, this is Stevie Richards. Welcome for the first time ever to our bedroom. I have my wife off camera here telling me not to shout so much and relax. And that's probably the first thing you should know is try to calm yourself down before you go to bed at night. So that's kind of a bonus tip right off the bat. But today we're gonna to talk about the top five things I try to do, not very successful with all of them. That's why my wife is off camera and mic'd up to correct me. I try, I don't always succeed, but I wanna pass along some quality sleep tips and also give some kind of, say, situations over the course of my wrestling career that contributed to my insomnia, my lack of sleep, and the struggles I have as a 52-year-old man trying to get quality sleep. So these top five tips are in no particular order, but in my opinion and my wife's, I think the number one thing you really should do is establish a consistent sleep schedule. And most people think we're grandma and grandpa with ours. So tell everybody when we start getting ready for bed, <laughs> which is probably when people actually start eating dinner or yes. getting home from work. It's okay. We have taken some crap for our bedtime, but you know what? We get up really, really early. And I think one of your tips is to keep a consistent sleep schedule, which includes bedtime and wake up. One of the tips is try and keep your same wake up time, no matter what day of the week it is. And we start winding down around 5 30 <laughs> sometimes, uh, yeah. but we do wake up at 3 30 AM. I used to wake up a lot earlier because I had insomnia and that's why these quality sleep tips are very, very important. But now we get up around 3 30 and we snuggle for a few minutes before the workout. So I'm not the maniac I used to be and get up and go right into the gym. But Usually about 10, 15 minutes it takes us to get ready. We work out and there's gonna be a tip about staying active during the day, working out and doing things during the day that will contribute to that consistent sleep schedule. And in wrestling, this is what I'm talking about. My situation before I retired from wrestling was different time zones, different cities, different states, different countries. If we could have wrestled on Mars, we probably would have did that. But basically my adrenals my whatever system was so screwed up from 30 plus years of wrestling that I had to get on a consistent sleep schedule. And it's been a struggle. We've been together for almost a decade now and I still have trouble sleeping. Prioritize the sleep environment. So you know, I'm used to hotel rooms and sleep on air mattresses or whatever. I mean, I didn't care. When we met, I, my TV stand was a Home Depot plastic <laughs> thing with an Xbox 360 on it or it, Xbox One. It absolutely was. <laughs> so she's the main reason, and we're going to B-roll, obviously, and show you the sleep environment that we have here right now. And there's one particular thing. Everything is great, but the one particular thing that we're going to show you in a second is the blackout curtains because right now it is actually 2 37 p.m and it looks like nighttime in here if we turned off all these lights that we're filming with it would be almost pitch black in here right now and that is essential for us because as grandma and grandpa who go to bed 6 p.m as you know with certain time changes it can be bright as heck in here we have the blackout curtains and that's what ah. those so those are pretty bright right there um, and these blackout curtains, you can get them for like, I got them in a the studio. We got them for like 15, 16 bucks, right? Yeah, basically so they're pretty cheap. These, we wanted linen in here. So we got from Amazon. You can find them from anywhere. Your studio ones, we got, we got Walmart. Walmart. Yeah. yeah. Just make sure you want at least a 90% blackout. You don't want a room darkening. You want to look for a true blackout curtain. So you get the consistent sleep schedule. 
you get the environment down and it doesn't you know really include and we don't do a great job of not watching tv you want to read you want to wind down one of my favorite things to do that bothers her because she falls asleep first about 100 percent of the time is <laughs> i like to watch ghost hunters and ghost adventures and other types of things where people scream and there's scary parts to it no wonder i have nightmares once in a while but i like watching ghost hunters i like unwinding or winding down watching a little bit of tv one of our favorite shows to watch a lot is Y files as well. well i'm gonna interrupt you here because you just dogged me for always going to sleep first and you love watching your ghost shows yeah but let's tell them the reason I hate it is because you fall asleep and I end up waking as they're like trying to get rid of a demon in the middle. Of well, the other thing too is I'm going to give a fun fact right here. I know that we're kind of going a little bit all over the place. What I used to watch to fall asleep each and every night and even on the road when we were together, every single time was Dark Knight. We calculated it from 2000, I think it came out in 2007, the DVD came out with the digital copy every single night whether i was on the road or not i would fall asleep to the dark night up until even after we met and even when the power went out on the internet we fell asleep to the dark night so i would say i watched the dark night maybe about four thousand times since it came out on dvd is that all let's just say five thousand to even it up it's definitely around four thousand conservatively. Hey, while we're talking about a cozy sleep environment, let's talk about temperature because I know, especially with you and I, that's mm -hmm. very important. Yeah. We like to have a little cooler in here and obviously living in Florida right now, it's nice, but we need to keep it at least around 72 to 74, which make, makes it a little bit cooler in here. So the colder the temperature, and we actually want to get one of those kind of bed jet things or something that cool everything because we both run hot when we sleep. So with that in mind, your body temperature, when it's cooler, you're going to fall asleep, stay asleep. And that's mostly what wakes me up throughout the night is my body temperature for some reason rises. When you drink alcohol or you have stimulants, or even when you work out at night, if your schedule doesn't permit that, then you're gonna basically wake up in the middle of the night. For the few times we have had White Claws or seltzers or whatever, we wake up at one to 2 a.m. because it's a depressant and when it wears off, you're basically stimulating your body. We're ready to run around and do projects, except, you know, it wouldn't well, be appreciated. Work out, which... <laughs> Staying active during the day. Now I do this, my workout and stuff, but sometimes in the road to recovery, my energy will still crash anywhere between 12 to 3 p.m. But I gotta try to push through that because if I take a nap or I lay down or I just sit around and kind of veg out watching movies or something, I will not feel as tired in the 5.30 to 6 o'clock range. So you stay active, you work and you know, well, I will say one of the other tips and something that, well, it's a tip that goes into that because I know a lot of us have office jobs. I, for one, am behind a desk for a good part of eight hours. Incorporating being that active, that doesn't mean you have to come home and run a marathon, but incorporating some type of even bedtime stretch, you want to loosen up your body. You want to have movement, especially before laying down, especially if you sit behind a desk all day or like yourself who is editing most of the day, sitting down, you just wanna get up and move your body. I would also, too, being too active is a problem too, because I would do two workouts a day. <laughs> is that gonna be a blooper? Soda. <laughs> there is one thing and it's not on the list, but this is something that's helped me out tremendously. And the only reason that I bring it up now is because I've been consistently taking this product and this, from this company for almost two years now, at least 18 months, and it's helped me on a road to recovery. So I will be right back and want to actually get the bottle. So the product I'm talking about is CBD. Now you can have a favorite company. I've tried a few different ones, we both have, but 
Via hemp has been the best one that we've tried so far. Consistent doses, consistent potency or lack thereof if you don't want certain elements in your CBD. I have two bottles right here. I have Dreams, which is Delta 9 CBN with THC. My wife takes THC free CBD gummies because with your job, sometimes they drug test you. So you need to be THC free in that particular environment. So you gotta be careful. This has THC in it. And if you're getting drug tested at your job, I used to get drug tested in WWE all the time, way too much for some weird reason. Here's the disclaimer. I'm no, by no means a medical expert, an expert in general on this stuff. I just know from 18 to 24 months of taking this, that this stuff has not only helped me fall asleep, that's the easy part. Staying asleep is my problem with insomnia. So taking this particular one is Dreams. I've also taken some higher potency ones, but really between the 10 milligram to 15 milligram THC by dose range, I'm totally fine. I fall asleep and wake up when the alarm goes off, which was unheard of two years ago. Yeah, you were, I would roll over when the alarm went off and you were wide awake and you had been wide awake for several hours. Several hours. So once again, please keep in mind your situation, your work environment. If you're being drug tested, stick with the THC free ones. They have very low dose ones, but I don't know the threshold of a drug test. I don't want anybody getting in trouble, but if you need sleep and that's not a factor, I would definitely go with something like Dreams or something like that. And by the way, you can save money. There's 20 doses in here. So cut it in half, take a half dose, and that way it'll last you 40 nights. And I'm telling you, it's made a huge difference. And my wife had talked about my infection earlier. This also was basically my painkiller. It was my pain management. So I didn't have to take narcotics like oxycodone or codeine or what, else, what, else, what muscle relaxers or well, anything like also, that. So even beyond that, they didn't work for you. They didn't work. They no. didn't work at all, which shocked everybody because you don't have a drug past. Your I've never body done anything. Yeah, your body was not used to these drugs, but for some reason they did not work. But what did work was what you're holding in your hand. And yeah. thank goodness for that because it actually gave you a little bit relief. You were able to nap, you were able to rest. So those we're talking are about something that's natural. Yeah. Something that's natural and I know there's different legalities in different states. Once again, that's another factor you got to think about. They don't even ship to the ones that are kind of questionable anyway. So if you can't get it shipped out, they're going to let you know, at least via hemp well. But I have to say, this is my brand two years in just about. And that's why we're affiliates with them. And that's the only reason we vet everybody, Force USA, Diamondback, Fit, all the companies we've worked with, we don't take them on as affiliates until months or years afterwards. This is the first time I'm ever talking about this, but not only for sleep, but pain management and pain relief, and your, your results may vary, I'm just telling you. But for me, this has been a, a miracle thing. And I wouldn't even say a miracle drug because it's not a drug. It's not a drug, yeah. And, I, and I'll, I'll say from my point of view, I know with you, it doesn't. You Are you trying to like, you cut me off? Is it bedtime yet? No. Okay. So that about does it for your top five. We had more than five in this, but even if you're not a man over 50, if you're a man under 50 or a woman of any age too, I think these, <clears throat> what happened to my voice? You're shouting. I'm shouting. As I was saying, trying to say, as I was shouting actually, um, whether you're a man over 50, under 50, woman over 50, woman under 50, I think these tips are pretty much uniform across the board. Like I said, each and every person's body and situation, your job environment, your personal environment, all these things may vary. But if anything else outside of these, I think all the tips we have out there are pretty ubiquitous. You like that word? Say I used a big word. I don't remember. You, you big, what? Ubiquitous. You, yo mama. <laughs> I don't even know. I forgot what that means. So, <laughs> it, it's something good, I think. So. Anyway, I'll look it up, put the definition down here, and maybe I got it completely wrong. So that is about it. Like I said, we do have an affiliate with Via Hemp and other products, recommended brands. Listen, it's not calling products, recommended brands that we have tested, that we've used for long stretches of time, and we can fully endorse those. Those are in the description below. When you use the link, 
Sometimes you save money, but each and every time you use those links, you help support the content here. So I can, um, I'm almost out, I need more. So thank you very much if you use the link. But hey, I do want to say we have purchased those numerous times ourselves. Yeah, no, we, that's how much we love them. No, we, yeah, everybody knows how cheap I am. So that's about it. Thank you guys so much. God bless each and every one of you. Have a great sleep.